a lot of people are asking questions about how chat encryption works and want to understand more about what the security keys are for. Here's a slideshow to give an overview. Understanding chat encryption. Encryption consists of two keys, public and private. Public keys are accessible to everyone. When you send a message to a user, you encrypt the message using their public key. They decrypt the message using their private key. Only the private key can decrypt the message. Here's a simple example. Bob wants to send Alice a message. He types, hello, Alice. It gets encrypted using Alice's public key. When she receives it, it gets decrypted by her private key. Gab's chat encryption works by using public and private keys as well. These keys are stored on Gab's server. This will allow users to access the chat from multiple browsers and devices. The private key is unlocked using a security key, meaning the private key has a special encryption wrapper around it that's unlocked by using the security key that you generate. What happens if I lose my security key? If you lose or forget your security key password, Gab will be unable to recover it or your keys. You will have to regenerate your keys using a new security key password, which is accessible via your Gab chat profile. If you regenerate your security keys, you will still be a member of all your rooms, but you will be unable to read any history in any of the encrypted rooms, DMs, and private rooms. This does not apply to public rooms. I understand this topic can be confusing to many, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me for help. Something that I keep in the back of my mind when I think about this with the security keys, I think of it as the master lock to my encryption keys that allow me to have these communications in an encrypted platform.